start off the weather cast with a really cool picture I received last night. So I received this picture from Mason Farms up in Putnam County and Continental. They took their drone out high above the sky and noticed and they captured the sunset right behind the cloud deck last night. Such a cool picture from high and above across the area. Thank you guys so much for Mason Farms. If you have any more pictures, be sure to send them to me via Facebook or email. All right, tracking Hurricane Lee. Lee is now back to major hurricane intensity, 120 mile per hour wind, sustained gust of 140. We're going to zoom in really close here. You can definitely see it's strengthening with an eye really clearing out now in the center with cold cloud tops surrounding that eye. Hurricane Lee will likely regain category four intensity, then curve northward. And this is going to be a thing that we're going to be watching over the next several days to see where exactly does Lee go, because there are some indications that may try to sneak close to the northeast and possibly the Canadian Maritime. So definitely monitor that as we go forward. But back at home right now, we've had some scattered clouds throughout the day, as shown right now on our uh, on ODOT cam near Botkins. Currently 70 degrees, current temperature at Allen County Airport, mostly cloudy skies being reported by the sensor out there. Current temperatures across the board, a little bit warmer to the north, 76 in Paulding, 76 in Defiance, where cloud cover is less prevalent. High temperature today, only with 70 degrees, not as warm as we thought, thanks to the stubborn clouds. The low this morning was 56 degrees, no rainfall today, but that will change likely as we get tomorrow night into Tuesday. Still see those clouds remaining right around Allen County in the vicinity. But as we zoom off to the west, we could track our next area of rain across northern Kansas, Nebraska, into Iowa. That's moving eastward. It will affect our area Monday night into Tuesday. After that, we'll have some cool air that's going to sink southward from the Hudson Bay in Canada. So let's check that out. So we have low-level high pressure right now along the international border. Then as we get into Monday night into Tuesday, low-level low pressure will form. And as it does so, what it's going to do is it's going to create a highway between this high and low, drawing in some cooler Canadian air southward back into the area. So let's time things out with sky cast across west central Ohio. As we get into tomorrow morning, skies will clear out, may allow for fog to develop. Clouds will increase throughout Monday. Then after sunset Monday into Tuesday, showers become widespread and that will continue into our Tuesday. In terms of rainfall, expecting overall right around a quarter of an inch with this system that's going to move through. Now we will be watching the possibility for fog to develop later tonight. Notice we start to get some development around 3 a.m. Definitely some areas of widespread fog, locally dense possible towards sunrise and clearing up by 10 to 11 a.m. As we recap your fog forecast for Monday morning, best chances for fog will be right around that sunrise where it could be locally dense in spots. So make sure you slow down and use low beam headlights. So for tonight, 55 Allen County. And then as we go to the north, temperatures back down to the lower 50s. Seven day forecast, cooler temperatures arrive Wednesday and Thursday. Then we get into moderate by Friday and next weekend. Sartage.